Welcome back to the VST channel. Ha I don't know. <coughs> Let's start over. Welcome back to the VST channel. I have here Samsung One UI 4.1 running Android 12, and this is using my wife's A53 Killer Beast mid tier, mid flagship phone, whatever you want to call it. And here I have the notorious Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Right. And as you can see, the difference is that, okay, it's running Android 13, One UI 5.0, the better guys, okay? And you can just see, no joke here, One UI version 4.1, One UI version 5.1. I have here the Navi J, oh God, today it's gonna be a bad day for cutting. I have here the navigation, <laughs> hint gesture all right i'm gonna try to do less cuts guys i want to make more videos more human more natural right and of course i don't have any editor so i'm recording i'm cutting yeah well i mean you don't need to know anyway we're here for the fun i want to show you the animations okay up opening up closing up opening up closing i think i think i'm already famous with saying this 1000 times but i very meticulously, uh, but I do test very meticulously. Yeah, I cannot say this word. I test very thoroughly these animations because I'm kind of like obsessed with them. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to test what happens when both phones are off. So one tap here, one tap here. Clock displayed, notification displayed. The battery, by the way, see here, the battery is over. Okay, the animation for the fingerprint, here it's under. So that's kind of a different thing, although I guess very standard. Okay, if I tap twice, I'm going to activate the very beautiful lock screen from Samsung, okay? So it pretty much the same, no change here. See, we can access the camera, we can access the phone lock. If I go to the left, I'll probably see some of the nice wallpapers absolutely the same guys no big difference whatsoever from what we see right now and if i'm to tap here notifications and with 13 styles i tap the notifications here and with 12 styles but we already know that android 12 and 13 are not so different all right if i would say some cliche they're just like brothers from yeah even the same mother so it's probably very very similar okay now i'm going to unlock both phones guys and we are going to go deeper into my animation testing and if you're here for the first time and you do like natural humanly appealing tech videos you might as well want to subscribe to my channel all right yeah please do that and then we can continue I'm now on the home screen and the first animation that I'm pretty much obsessed with is, well, let me show you, take my finger here, hold, all right, very nice from both phones, okay, by the way, I do have a screen protector on my S22 Ultra and see by the way, that's kind of funny, I am obsessed with this type of animation and I realized that this animation, at least on my phone, runs perfect only when I'm not using WKHD. See here guys, on the A53 it's absolutely flawless. See when I go like this, all the icons from the status bar just go upside down like this. Same happens here, but it feels a bit laggy and I just think that's because of the resolution. I really have lost any hopes with Samsung fixing this, but I can tell you on One UI 5 it's still a bit better all right so hold my finger like this the animation okay if i go inside settings we pretty much have the same home screen menu android 12 here android 13 here of course the home screen version is going to be different here already 14 here 13 okay but else pretty much feels the same and i have been repeating myself like android runs on the bottom of these devices and they really have a big overhaul a lot of people do call these skins but i call this OS's, because One UI or Xiaomi Mi UI or, you know, Oxygen OS and now Color OS, they're just not some, like, Android random skins. They're really heavily reworked versions that really stand on top of it. Okay, enough. Now, let's just see the notifications, all right? Pretty much seamless animation on both phones, okay? And although I like a bit this one here, so when I unravel this, yep, and... Okay, it's almost the same, I, no big change here. I do like this a bit more because uh, the Android 13 style emphasizes on big icons here. And you can tell it's Facebook, you can tell it's Messenger, you can tell it's something else, right? And the Android 12 is 
just above the same in terms of the shape here of the box right but all these icons are smaller and also here the gap is even narrow so see here guys I have like a proper separation from all this notification what I don't get it sometimes this icon stuck themselves right that's an Android third one right five better one feature sometimes not but else this is how it looks like the media player by the way looks pretty much the same so I will just start something for you right now so that you know sadly guys this doesn't really resemble the player that we have in the stock Android 13 which I think is crazy you know with the sperm like progress bar I really would like Samsung to bring it in but else we have the device controls and the media output so the media output is pretty much about the same of course here I have a bit of more devices you have the music share which is integrated there okay here you have more controls and you have also device controls this is really controlling your smart things like in my case for example if I choose here home which is the Google one I'm gonna get access to all my things but I can also do this via the Samsung Smartings app so no big differences whatsoever now if we just do like this and take a glance we're gonna pretty much see the same icons and the only differences here guys with all of these toggles will be here all right see I have something called the active apps this now here comes from Android 13 and is a bit different. We really don't have this implemented inside. But else, no big changes. One UI 4.1, one UI 5. Okay? And now with that said, guys, I'll probably try to open some of the applications so that you see how you know you can get access to them. So I'm gonna open the Galaxy Store, okay? Popping up. Yeah, so pretty much the same. Okay, then exiting one more time. You know, I just have a feeling it's the same animation. And sadly, you see also on this phone, it lacks its stutters. It is even nowhere close to the fluidity that I get on my Pixel phone while using Android. And if you didn't really watch my human Android 13 review of uh, my Pixel 6, you can just do it there and see what I mean. Let's open a Play Store. Okay, I would say we pretty much have the same animation popping out popping in it's pretty much one-to-one -one. so I would not say that Samsung are teasing some kind of a new animations in the One UI 5 better one let's try to open the camera okay opening the camera okay let's go to the front camera here front camera there pretty much the same and closing animation is the same so there is no big difference inside this um, let's open now also settings if I go inside of settings guys let's just try to scroll up and see if we're gonna have some like a bouncy effect yeah here we have like this here we have like this now we can see it is so so similar if you tell me which is Android 13 and Android 12 I will not be able to tell you besides the fact that I see here things like connected devices which I know is only on Android 13 right now but everything else seems to be really one by one although you know there are some changes if you keep looking you can see here in Android 12 we have the biometrics and security and then we have face recognition and fingerprints okay here we have security and privacy and we have inside the biometrics and the permission manager so it, yeah it's a bit, bit different but else all this animation look pretty much the same and you will not really want to see that I really hope that Samsung are trying to change something and if not bringing new animation then at least fix the existing animation now if I go to the left right here we have Google 3 here I have Google Samsung but you know how to change this hold your finger like this go there okay change it to Google discover now go back and we pretty much gonna have the same so no new style animation nothing now let's go inside the up draw okay see even the up draw is the same guys see there is absolutely no difference right if we go to the search it will pop up into the very same way powered by the universal search that is of course coming from Android and it does look very very familiar although I can tell you guys the best and quickest test to see if we have Android 13 here is you go inside the wallpaper and style once you go there right and you click on the color palette you're gonna see that we have only these four option in Android 12 and we have another 12 like all together 16 new options and we have to choose from the basic color and the wallpaper color and that's pretty much as it goes so no big changes in animation whatsoever let's try to switch between the apps 
we're using this gesture here and it's pretty much the same animation no big difference if we go inside the recent menu we do have the same exact same animation same rotation everything if we close it out boom they're even closed at the very exact same way uh, something we can test is just go into the landscape mode and try to open something to just see the animation opening galaxy store boom rotation is like this opening galaxy store yep rotation the other side but all together guys there is no major upgrade or even a tiny change between the animations that we have in android 12 one way for one compared to Android 13 One UI 5.0. One thing we need to change is folders, right? So the way they pop up, and I really like the way the background just falls apart. We can probably test the same if I try to put the gallery here. So let's just open this one. See here, guys. It is absolutely the same, right? I do have a feeling, though, that somehow the Android 13 animations are a bit quicker. I'm not sure. See, there is, a, here, definitely, there is a difference, guys, all right? Let me just try to do it one more time. There is a difference, okay? And also what I want to test is what will happen if I just take this and put it there. I want to see where exactly the animation is going to come from. So opening here, all right, see? Very, very much the same behavior, guys, okay? Android 12 and 13 using one way, 4.1 and 5, it's absolutely the same. And I think this is gonna be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to compare the animations and I think that we managed to do so, so that you will know what to expect once One UI 5 is up for you. I hope again that you like videos like this. If that's the case, subscribe for the channel, guys. Please, you and your family, stay safe until we meet in one of the next videos. With that said, VST over and bye.